Hello friends and welcome to another tutorial on Geeks for Geeks. In this video, we are going to understand the program which sorts the given string using character search. First, let us take some examples. Next, let us see the algorithm. We take a sample string str and pass it to sort string function along with its length. In the sort string, we take a string variable initialized to null named new str to store the final answer. Then we run a for loop from character A to character Z. Inside the for loop, we run another for loop to check if character i is present at index j of string str. If yes, we add it to new str. So first, i will be a and we run an inner for loop from 0 to 5 which is the length of str. As you can see, for all iterations of j, str at j is never equal to i. So, if condition never gets satisfied and new str remains null. After this, i will be b and the same happens for b. The same happens for iteration c and d, so we are skipping them. After c and d, i will be e. Now, str at 1 is equal to i. So, the if condition gets satisfied and we add str j to new str string. str at j equal to 2 is also e and if condition gets satisfied and we add it to new str. str at 3 and str at 4 is not equal to i. So, new str remains e e. For iterations i equal to f, str at j will never get satisfied as f is not there in string str. Next, i will be g. Now, str at 0 is g. So, the first if condition gets satisfied and we add g to new str. For iterations j equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, the if condition not get satisfied. Next, for i equal to h, i and j, str at j will not get satisfied. So, we are resuming from i equal to k. Now, str at 3 is equal to i. So, we add k to new str. For i equal from k to r, the if condition will never get satisfied and we are resuming from i equal to s. For i equal to s, str at 4 equal equal to i. We add s to new str. Then from i equal to t to z, the if condition will never get satisfied and we come out of the for loop and return the new str which we print in the main function. We have the final sorted string and this is the final output. With this, we come to an end of this tutorial. For any doubts or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching.